Hello out there YouTubers. This is something you don't very often see me do, which is load a log. I think I've done a couple of loading logs. This is about, uh, would win the ugly log contest. It's um, just just nasty. I, I've showed it to you before. It's got some rot down in this end here, which I'd like to cut off first, but when there's a log this big and it's so lumpy from all the turtles that are cut off, I kind of will take it just about anywhere I can get it, to be honest with you. It should roll a little faster at that end, which should make it come down this way, but it's also, look at this. It, it's crazy. You know, I can push it with one finger, but it takes everything I can get to make it roll. So I'm going to try to get it on there, and this might be a video of just rolling it on there. Um, show you what, what gets involved. It's, it's not as easy uh, as one thinks all the time. So I'm going to try to roll it. It's on a lump. That's why it's... It's uh, high out. Let's see if I can roll it down. That wasn't too bad, but if it gets down in the um, right spot, then that rocks right up at the top now, which would be a, a good place to... If it rolls, it might roll right where I want it to go under that rock, because if the rock was down, I'd be all right with that. I have a indexing mark on here. Ah, uh, let's see. Yeah, I want this. Either, either I want it down or I want it up. I need it in night. Actually, I need it in 90 degrees to the blade, so I'm cutting it out. And one of the one of the slab woods I cut, it would cut it out. So if I mark this up, and that can either be up or down. You know, I'm already wore out. I've been working this thing from that end of the the mill up. Let's see if we can get on there now. I think this is where it hits the a hump and really works you. And it's not going to be... Actually, that went a lot better than I thought it was going to go. I'm pretty pleased with that, guys. It must have got in between these rails just right. I'm all right with that. I'm really happy with that. Holy cow. Man, I've been fighting this thing like a dog the first two rounds. And now all of a sudden this is just, just went in smooth. I'm all right with that. Now I just got to get it up the rest of the way, which that might be a battle. I'll get the big King Kong bar out. This thing is, uh, it's just got to slide in there now. But the trouble with this one here is if you slide it in, you might slide that rail out because it's just a little groove. Um, and if it if it's going to slide out, then I'll bring the railroad jack out and just push it over, which is probably what I should do. Um, I'm hoping this thing will. My hickory stick. <laughs> that thing's heavier than you. <laughs> no, we ain't doing that, guys. That thing's heavier than it looks. So is that hickory stick. So we're going to get the old railroad jack out and see if we can't uh, make it go in with a railroad jack. I lent it to somebody now I can't find the, the jacking arm for it. Crap. Huh. Oh, here it is. He set it right next to it, but it got down underneath the... Oh, I'm just going to jack that thing in there. Of course, then it'll probably be rocking like it did a, a minute ago on the uh, on itself. Full block over, set it up on. No, nah, I think I'll take it the way it is because then I can. Yeah, it went, the, went the wrong way. I wanted to go in, didn't want to go in. It's going the wrong way, guys. That's being rude. I don't really want it to roll. thing on it. He needed it. Actually, it looks pretty good on the carriage. If I get it to a certain point, it'll just kind of fall over. This is what my plan is. That was a good plan. That wasn't too hateful, really. Uh, it's timing-wise is 
just about where I want it. I'm going to shake it a little bit and see how it likes to be. Yeah, see, that's, that's pretty good. I still got to uh, set the tapers. That's what I was afraid of. Another reason you don't like sticky logs. See this thing? Got a low spot right there. Can't get this one out. Just another reason I don't like sticky logs. Sticky logs are miserable, guys. Hope this one comes out. Yep, that one came out. Now I'm going to show you something. It's something you ought to do when you got a... If you're by yourself and you got a old mill. And I was watching... Watching some other guys just... Just a little while ago, as a matter of fact. I'll zoom you in. When you got a big ugly log like this and you don't know what it's going to do... The momentum of it, if you can imagine the momentum of it rolling back, hitting those L's up there, which pushes it back, which raises a whole carriage up and it'll come off the hump track down there. And what happens is it'll just push the carriage right off. It just You're just totally out of control. So what I recommend, recommend you doing is strapping them down from time to time. When you got one coming in, Strap the thing down so it won't get a, so it can't get away from you. This one really, this one really wasn't too bad to be honest with you. But I've had some of them that they get rolling, and if this had hit on the one spot that's high or low or whatever you want to call it, it would have, uh, it would have gone over and crashed this carriage off. So I kind of recommend <clears throat> just keep an old little rat, ratchet strap handy. Um, might save you from having the mess over there what I'm talking about <clears throat> I'm not trying to trying to get those guys in trouble or speak ill of other Sawyers you need to watch um, Wayne's World Garage they got an old sawmill at Kinder or Kinder Park over in Severn Maryland I went over to it I had a couple movies of it and they just put one on today that showed that exact situation happening and I had this log and I figured I'd I'd do a video of it so you can kind of see what's going on. Now, Frick has anti knockoff castings that go on the back of these, but they don't really work all that well. So I find it better to strap them down. I don't even, yeah, I have those castings on back there. I didn't even remember putting them on there. There's three of them because you got three head blocks or three of them because you got three axles. I think that's how they do it. I'll try to, let me get a picture. Let me zoom in on a picture if you can see this see that thing right there <sighs> it's supposed to keep you from knocking that carriage off and I think it might help but I've knocked the carriage off a couple times now what they did to prevent that from happening as much after they started putting um, hydraulic log turners on there is they put the hump track in the back so it almost acts like the fulcrum for the uh, thing here as soon as as soon as you have it come off this hump track in the front, which only has to come up like 9 sixteenths of an inch, then it's just a flat metal on metal heading off the track. So I've dumped the carriage. Everybody dumps the carriage from time to time. It's not a, uh, it's not a, not that good to do, but it happens. So, you know, hats off those guys, man. They got it on and uh, they got it on and knocked it off again, which is just... You know, sometimes that stuff happens. It's kind of like me dropping that log a few videos ago. Sometimes that stuff happens. Well, that's on there. I got to set the set the taper because I think it's. Let me see what the size of this thing is. If I can find my tape. I think it's uh, 28 in the back. Maybe 28 or 29 in the back is what this thing, what this thing's measuring in the front. I don't remember. So. It's not particularly square. This way here it's 21. This way here it's 23. So it's probably ob oblong like that in the back too. So I'm going to roll it up, pull my taper out. Actually, I won't pull the taper out. 
I'll roll it back like this. And then, uh, look at that, I put it right on the money where I want. Then I'll bring my taper out about like that. Then I'll start rolling it back in. Then I'll bring the dog out here. And then I'll roll it up and get it up to here where it's a good, good working position. I don't think I can roll that by hand. I could probably push it back now with the, I forgot where you, are, you guys are looking on the camera. I'll see if I can't push it back and dog it in, then it'll be ready to go. How tall is this? This is about six foot, six, six foot. This is a heck of a hickory stick. It usually moves quite a bit. So I'm hoping it'll move that in. That ain't too bad. Uh, it's up there though. This is gonna be a a bear to cut. A bear to cut. I'm at the top of my top of my things ratchets here. That about maxes this little mill out. Alright, well the next thing is gonna be putting it through the mill. I'm sitting on 24 inches. 24, I'm sitting on 23 inches. So if I roll it up, sometimes these little carriages will move easy. <laughs> now if I rolled up, I might, on the first slice, I might be taking some off, off the back there. So I'm going to call this a loading the log video. And then I'm going to do the next one on uh, sawing it. So this is it for loading the log video. It actually went a heck of a lot easier than I thought it was. I'm tickled to death that, it, that I even got it on there without crashing something. If you like these kind of movies and want to see more of the stuff, you'd have to hit the subscribe button. And there's more of this stuff if you go back in some of the old video archives and dig it out. There's all sorts of goofy stuff. I do just a little bit about everything here. Some good, some bad. Um, anyhow, uh, it, but if, if you could hit the like button, it would certainly help me out. And uh, I appreciate you coming by. And if, if you didn't like it, then don't hit the subscribe button because then you won't get annoyed by me. Um, over and out for now. The next one's going to be taking a slab cut off. And this is going to be this going to be a battle. This one here, I do believe. We'll see you guys later. Hit the like button, subscribe. Go watch Wayne's, Gra Wayne's World Garage and see the um, slip off of there. He's a real good guy. They got a bunch of old guys sawing logs over that park and they just have a heck of a good time. So go over and check his channel out. I think if you like this nonsense here, you'd probably like that stuff over there. And a uh, great, great bunch of guys over there. We'll see you all later. Well, we'll see you, well, later. Bye now.